what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Billionaire Steve Schwartzman wanted to give $25 million to his alma mater in Pennsylvania, Arbiton High School. And the school board was eager to get their hands on that money for renovation and a new technology center. But the money wasn't exactly free, and the community lost their minds when they found out the details. Schwartzman, chairman and chief operating officer of the global private equity firm, the Blackstone Group, has amassed a $12.2 billion fortune, according to Forbes magazine. A friend of Donald Trump, Schwartzman, the son of a dry goods store owner, was president of the student council at Arlington High School. He graduated in 1965 and 40 years later, in 2005, donated $400,000 so the school's football stadium could be named for him. The Schwartzman episode, however, ran into some trouble for different reasons. According to an initial agreement regarding the $25 million donation, which was approved March 27 by the Arlington School Board, Schwartzman would receive a number of things in return. The school would receive a new name, the Arlington Schwartzman High School, and for the avoidance of doubt, officials would make sure the name was displayed at a minimum at the front and above each of the six entrances. Parts of the campus would be named after his brothers, former high school track coach, and two friends on the track team. Schwartzman's portrait would appear prominently in the school. Schwartzman would have input into the construction of the new campus, which is set to be done in 2022, including the right to approve contractors. He would also receive regular reports on the progress of a computer literacy initiative. The agreement would be kept secret unless Schwartzman approved its release. The agreement also referred to curriculum changes, with all students receiving Chromebooks and being required to take coding or computer literacy. District officials said that was planned before Schwartzman endorsed it. The board approved the pact without community input, and when the residents learned that Schwartzman had essentially bought naming rights to the school, they pushed to get details. The board waited a few weeks after approving the contract to release it to the public. But by then, the board had rescinded the agreement and promised to vote on a new pact with most of the earlier demands stripped out. The new pact gives Schwartzman a far reduced role and the school will no longer be named after him, though the new science and technology center will be and the new gym facilities will be named for his former coach and track buddies. Demands were dropped for contractor approval, portrait hangings, and the uh, regular reports for computer literacy. Look, man, I have no problem with none of that. As long as he marks this down as a business expense and not a donation. Now, before y'all get all heated and go to saying things like, well, who does these billionaire Republicans think they are? All of them do it. All of the rich people do it. Go to any college campus. Go to some of these parks. You can go to libraries and you'll see names of rich people on buildings everywhere. This is part of the game. I have no problem with that. What I have a problem with is elected school board officials considering giving up the power to decide what the curriculum is going to be to a private citizen. That should never be tolerated. But putting your name on a building, uh, throwing up some portraits. Hell, man, you know, shit, you mean $25 million can't get my name on the building? Come on, man. You know, put my, put my picture up, man. Gave you 25 mil. So, yeah, I have no problem with that. It would be better, though, if, like, if, if 
the person that was giving money was a person that was respected. Like as long I feel like as long as the person is respected, a person was a good person, then it doesn't matter if that person was rich or the person just had average income. It's a building that I can walk in and be proud of, right? It's a it's a a building or a park that I can visit and feel honored by. You know, I can feel proud by it, right? But just a rich pe person who is a nothing like J. Edgar Hoover or like Donald Trump who invariably will have his name on buildings. Oh man, that is disgusting that you got to see this type of stuff. Even to this day, just going to George Bush Intercontinental. I can't even say George Bush Intercontinental Airport. I just say Intercontinental. I never say George Bush. Yeah, so that's the bad part about it. When you have people that are rich or famous or both who get to put their name on these buildings and you have to say, hey, man, meet me at such and such ballpark. Like, Yuck. Take a good look at this guy, Steve Schwartzman. What a noble man. What a noble gesture. Giving up $25 million out of the goodness of his heart. What generosity. Not, remember, he's a friend of Donald Trump's. In this case, the orangutan don't fall far from the tree. If I was the school board, I'd make sure that before any work starts, the check clears. No more talk. What, what, what the ladies talking about?